Hi, Josh Barker with Josh Barker Real Estate. Thank you for checking out our market update for the month of August, 2022. You know, the talk about the real estate market and its conditions and whether or not we're in a shift is getting louder and louder. You know, the reality of home pricing softening a little bit and interest rate remaining extremely high in comparison to six months ago is really something that's kind of floating through the market right now. The reality is, is that we're actually shifting more towards a more normal and balanced market. However, I mean, there's a lot of folks out there that have never experienced that. In fact, if, I mean, if you haven't, if you were not participating in real estate prior to 2012, so if you weren't buying homes or selling homes uh, as a seller, or if you weren't even in real estate as a real estate agent prior to 2012, you haven't probably even experienced what we call a more normal and balanced market. And so that is the reality of what's happening right now. And we're having to make those adjustments with higher interest rate environments and a market that's softening a little bit. So this month, we're gonna to speak to some of those points and we'll go ahead and kick off with the sales report for the Shasta County Multiple Listing Service. And this first report is actually our sold report. And it gives you an idea of how many homes are selling each month. And I'll circle this for you in red. There was 227 properties that closed escrow last month in the month of July. Now that's down roughly 27% compared to last year when the home sales were roughly at 314 sales that had closed escrow in the same month last year. Now last year, obviously, we were still relate, uh, selling to some of those pandemic related buyers. Um, and so obviously at this point, that's all but evaporated. And now we're back to a more normal balanced market with buyer demand is more relative to uh, the housing units that are available and of course the interest rates. The next thing to look at is just our active inventory report. So I'll bring this in for you as well. This report actually reflects how many homes are for sale in the market. And right now, currently, there are 818 properties that are for sale here in the Shasta County MLS. Now, that's up roughly 32% compared to last year when there were 619 for sale. So our inventories have been trending up. However, I would just add to that that over the last month or two, we're noticing that our housing supply is actually not growing that aggressively. In fact, we're, we're holding fairly firm um, at, the, at the numbers that I'm sharing with you right now, which is a good sign uh, going forward that we may not be plagued with a huge amount of home inventory coming to the market, which could have obviously some negative impacts on pricing and, and days on market and things like that. The next report to look at is just the buyer and seller overall demand. And is it a buyer or seller's market right now? The best tool that we can use, and I'll bring this into the screen as well, is what we call the absorption rate. Now the absorption rate is simply the amount of homes that are for sale and how long would it take to sell off the existing inventory if nothing else came up for sale. So currently our absorption rate is sitting at a 2.8 month supply. And to give you some perspective, last year at this time, it was roughly 1.92 months supply. So we're obviously trending up. The inventory overall relative to demand is growing. And so right now we're sitting what we call the, the tail end of a seller's market. A seller's market is typically anywhere from zero to three months supply of homes for sale. A four to five months supply is considered a more of a neutral market. And anything that's six months or more is usually considered to be a buyer's market. And right now we're again, we're at that 2.8 month supply. We're kind of towards that tail end of a uh, of seller's market. And that's something that all of us are probably starting to feel as we see our inventories growing. We're seeing pricing soften a little bit. Um, and we're also you know, experiencing even in some cases some price reductions in the market, all of which, going back to the beginning of this video, are what you see in a normal balanced market. The next thing to look at is just our home showings. Our home showings currently are down um, compared to months prior. And home showings is a pretty good indication of overall buyer demand. And so buyers um, are obviously, they're going into these homes at a lower number than they had in the past. And this is being showing up on our showing reports that sellers are providing as well as other agents in the market. So what that could lend to over time is that we could continue to see our closings diminish. And we could see that continue to slow down if the showings continue to fall or, or, or reduce month over month. So that's something that we'll be watching closely. And the last piece that we'll talk about today is just mortgage interest rates. Currently, mortgage interest rates are averaging 5.25%. Now that's up from the low of the beginning of this year when interest rates were averaging 3.25%. For every 1% that the mortgage rate increases, it diminishes a buyer's purchasing power by up to 10% when they're getting financing. And so when rates go up, it has an impact on what a buyer qualifies for. 
And a large part of what we're seeing playing out in the market right now is the reality of higher interest rates. But there is some silver lining. If I were just to go back over the last several weeks up to about a month ago, rates were at a high of 6.5%. They've already come back down now to about five and a quarter percent. It's still higher than it was before, and it's still having an impact on buyer demand. But the fact that the rates are not going up higher than six and a half, and they're starting to come back down a little bit, is a very positive sign for the local market. So in any case, if you have any other questions regarding the real estate market here in Shasta County, just know we're always here to help. I wanna thank all of you for taking your time to watch this video today, and we'll see you soon.